Hi there and welcome to another video. So today's video is especially important because we are talking about one of our chosen charities for this year, Street Paws. So me and Daisy are going to be telling you a bit more about this charity today. For many homeless people, pets are near and dear to them, providing them with a sense of purpose and company. Often it's hard to find veterinary care or they get separated from their dogs when they go into shelters or social housing. Street Paws work with local vets and shelters to make sure that these beloved pets not only remain healthy but also remain with their owner. Now Street Paws started in 2016 in Newcastle, however it now works nationally, including our chosen charity of the year, Street Paws Belfast. On a monthly basis they do outreach working with local groups and vets in the area. The charity covers all veterinary treatment for conditions diagnosed by the Street Paws team as well as funding surgical treatments and neutering through supporting veterinary practices. These veterinary teams offer advice and an ear for any questions or concerns the pet owners may have, as well as performing vaccinations, flea and worming treatments, pain relief, eye and ear medications and the list goes on. They also provide dog food, leads, collars and dog coats to help aid in keeping these lovable pets safe and well. Street Paws also offers the Street Paws Dog Champion Scheme where they help hostels to become more pet friendly through staff training, through creating pet policies and ownership agreements. This is vital as figures show that there are around 200,000 people experiencing core homelessness in the UK with 1 in 10 owning a pet. Yet research has shown that fewer than 10% of hostels will accept pets. By offering the option to train both staff and pets, as well as ensuring that policies are in place for both the animals and the owners, Street Paws are opening up the gateways to make sure that more homeless people with animals can get shelter, and it also means that less animals are being separated from their owners as well. To add, Street Paws also works with local animal kennels to provide emergency kennel space for any animal whose owner needs inpatient NHS services. The aim of this charity is not only to benefit these animals, but it's also to prevent homeless people from avoiding shelter and accommodation due to the fear of being split up from their pet. Fewer than 7% of homeless pet owners said that they would give up their pet in exchange for housing. But why is this? Well, these dogs are their family. Research has shown that these dogs can significantly improve a homeless person's mental health as well as giving them purpose and a reason to wake up in the morning. It's also been found that these animals provide routine for their owners as the owners often give up their own needs for the dog ensuring that the animal is safe. The bond between a homeless person and their pet is truly unbreakable due to them being together for 24 hours in the day and through them undergoing tough circumstances together as a family. So the question shouldn't be why do homeless people have dogs? The question should be what can we do to ensure that this family unit isn't broken? Here at Christie's we've been doing all that we can to help these animals and their owners. The team were busy packing goodie bags with shampoos, grooming products and toys for the veterinary team to ensure that the animals health and happiness are at the forefront. We have also been hosting in-house charity days and charity prizes to help raise funds for this amazing charity. But how can you help? Well, on Monday the 22nd of August 2022, we are donating 5% of our profits from groomed professional shampoos, conditioners and colognes to Street Paws. On top of that, you can also head over to their website to donate, which is streetpaws.co.uk, which can also be found in the links below. But I want you to thank you for listening to us today. I hope you've learned more about this charity and we will see you in the next video.